restaurant, invite a couple girls, couple guys, have a meal, I'm good with that. He said, what girls and guys having the same bruv? That's haram. That's what I, said. I said, what sitting in a restaurant? He said, bruv, with girls and guys, that's haram, bro. That's the opposite sex mixing. I said, oh my. Do you know what? He's putting me off. He's putting me off. So I think to myself, do you know what? Well, like where my studio was, we're at the downstairs from my studio. I had a McDonald's two minutes walk up on the high street, straight on high road. So I said to him, you know what, bro? I was done with the conversation. I said, bro, I was, I'm going to the McDonald's anyway. Do you want anything? He said, bro, McDonald's is around. <laughs> so I'm feeling to myself, is this banter? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it are you serious? All right, cool. So I've, I've, I've left the house and I'm thinking to myself, whoa, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I was so inspired and I don't know anymore. One boy that gave me dawah, I don't know anymore. I walked, I said, what am I going to do? What, become Muslim, walk in my house, stand in my room, switch off the lights, look at the vlog, because everything's haram. Like, no, I'm, not, I'm Muslim now, I'm in a nothing. I said, can I, what's, this is going to be mad. I'm 18 years old. I'm raging with desires. You can't tell me this. I'm thinking this might not be for me. So I see the guy that originally gave me dawah. Remember the same guy from the motorbike? I told him, I don't know, man. But he's got more wisdom. Remember how his dawah started? He didn't even mention Islam. He was just talking about the heaven and hell. He's building up faith. And what did Aisha say, may Allah have mercy on her? She said, if they came to us with the rules straight away, we would have all ran away. First, we had to learn faith. Because when our faith got built up, they were learning faith, but like six years before any rule came, once their faith gets built up, they develop a relationship with their creator, a love with their creator, a fear, an understanding. So when a rule comes, they listen and obey with no option because they've got so much faith, so much iman. He could give any rule, tell the believing women to cover their beauty. They were ripping their clocks, wrapping it over their head. How comes it was so easy? They had so much faith, so much iman. You can't just throw that rule at someone one week in with no iman. They won't, they won't have the same fear. So he said to me, 